To be honest, I didn't even know women be cheating like that. Okay, so the question, what do you consider cheating? If a woman that's married or in a relationship meets up with an old friend to catch up and she purposely doesn't tell her other half, do you consider this cheating? Or is it only considered cheating when there's actual intercourse involved? I mean, is there such thing as semi-cheating? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, I had to do some digging on this topic because obviously I'm not a woman, but as always, I got it together. Even though something tells me that the women thought they were safe, you know, I realized that the stigma of cheating was heavily attached to men. However, don't be fooled. Women do their fair share of cheating as well. Well, y'all women know, well, y'all women know y'all be cheating. Me put it on us all the time, but talking about and what I'm talking about is what we just did. Okay. Hello? Oh, um, I had to turn around um because uh, I forgot something at the store. Uh, I forgot. No, no, no. I just have to. I, I gotta go. I left a bag of groceries, and um, I realized it when I got in the car because I was gonna eat a snack. And then, um, mm. okay. All right, I'll bring some cornflakes, babe. Okay, I might be like 10, 10 or fifteen minutes later. Hurry up, man. Okay, babe. Love you. Okay, bye. So Jada Pinkett Smith had this whole entanglement situation, but I want you to listen to what Will said about their marriage early on. Check this out. But I hear that you all really do set goals, that there is a yeah, marriage yeah. business plan. Yes. No, yes. Really, you, you, you could write a book about that and help a lot of people. There's a marriage business plan. You know, what, what we discovered is... <laughs> Look at Jada's shoes. Would oh, somebody no. just take a shot at that? <laughs> Hello. Okay. No, it's crazy. I almost wore them. I almost, <laughs> it would have been a mess out here. You know? um, but a marriage <laughs> business plan. You know, it's it's like if you don't have a goal. Yeah. You know, if you don't have a purpose for your relationship, and, and pretty much anything. It's yeah. like if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a place that you're you're going something, you want to accomplish something you want to do, right. you can really get lost in the murk of the, the journey. There has to be a vision for... There has you. to be a vision, right? Yeah. Notice Will said they had a marriage business plan. Now, that sounds unique to me, but let's see what happens when plans take a turn. So, I mean, because this is your red table and you, like, brought yourself to the red table, I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain, and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Now, Jada said that she was in a lot of pain and she was very broken. She was also trying to find happiness. And lastly, she said that she just wanted to feel good. Notice that everything she mentioned had to do with emotions and feelings. Just keep this in mind. Okay, let me keep going. What I realize is that most of the time when women cheat, it's with someone they already know, someone that they are familiar with. Basically, it's just not some random person. And yes, there is a reason for this. And you don't even have to take my word for it. Just listen to this. I'm curious because the infidelity is more women than men. It may be unique to your practice. Right. But you see, mm -hmm. This yeah. is what I've noticed. And you said they seek out old flames. Um, in your practice, are women more likely to go to that old high school or college boyfriend or are they finding the new unknown man? Old flame, they already know them. So they're staying in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So like the high school boyfriend or the, the college flame, you're still connected because you know you went to school together, you have mutual friends, so it's easier to go to somebody you already know and you might still have those feelings. Right. So, so talk through some of the, the mistakes. And the reason why women cheat with someone they already have some type of connection to is simply because women are emotional. In order to become involved with someone, they feel as though they need some type of connection, even if the connection is falsely created in their own mind. It's their sense of validity. Even Kelly Rowland said, no matter what I do, all I think about is you. 
even when I'm with my boo, you know I'm crazy over you. I mean, I love that song, but the lyrics are very infidelity-ish. Okay, so why do women cheat? Women cheat because there's some type of emotional need that's not being fulfilled in the relationship. Whether it's the lack of affection, maybe their partner doesn't make them feel attractive anymore, or they just aren't feeling love. And this actually probably does the most damage. A woman will then try to find the lacking affection or feeling that they crave to have. And this is why women cheat. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like this video. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and click the bell so that you're notified when new content comes out. Thanks.